Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the basics of converting a PO to voucher. I'm already in the correct screen. We're gonna start off by entering a vendor ID. If you don't know your vendor ID, you can always use the inline search to bring up a list of vendors. Once you have your vendor selected, it's gonna pull up your receipt screen. You can select multiple if you are invoiced for multiple at the same time. Every time you click on one, it will change the items below, including their quantity received and their extended costs. You can select just one or all or whatever you wanna do. In this one, we're gonna select the one. It'll bring the items in down here at the bottom. If there were any notes or document links or anything like that, those would also be available to us. Uh, you're gonna come off here and you start off with your invoice date. Obviously, you're going to put in whatever date they invoiced you. Invoice amount, if it includes freight, make sure that is in here. Put in your invoice number. Period and year should default to your current year, and then you can put in your freight here. By default, it is going to vouch all. And it's something important to keep in mind is there's only two options for prorating freight. There's weight, and then there's quantity. Uh, we've had customers in the past that that doesn't really work for them. They wanted to prorate based off of unit price uh, to make sure they weren't throwing too much money at the cheaper priced items. Uh, so we created a simple business rule where you click a button and that's it. Uh, there are some other things in here. You can add a, a document link if you need to add a copy of the invoice for some reason into it. Um, there are some landed cost things. If you are calculating landed cost, uh, that information would be there. Uh, accounts is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to show you the accounts that it's going to be hitting uh, as far as it's uh, AP. And then there's terms. If we have special terms from the vendor, those would be displayed here. Uh, you could enter in a, if you had a terms discount, uh, you would have that shown here. Other than that, that's it. It's pretty basic to do your, your run-of-the-mill convert PO to voucher. Once you have all of your stuff, confirmed you just hit save and that is now going out to be ready for a check run important to note that once something has been vouched uh, you can no longer do a reverse po receipt on it uh, so somebody doing a reverse po receipt may get a notice that that receipt has either been paid or partially paid whatever it is even if you only paid for one item on that receipt you won't be able to bring it back up in reverse po receipts just something else to keep in mind if you have any questions about this or you want to see videos on other things, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas will be here for your Profit 21 needs. Thanks, guys.